we welcome all of you to the session conducting a co testing uh, a live demo by trisha chitani quick introduction about trisha trisha is an automation enthusiast she has been assisting teams to enable them uh, deliver high quality software in the agile and devops environment and she is excited about attending conferences and meet meetups and uh, she has been rewarded brown browser stack champion postman supernova and few other awards uh, without further delay over to you trisha hi everyone welcome to the to my talk today i'm going to talk about conducting seo testing the live demo i'm trisha chetani i worked as a software tester for past 9 years During my nine years of journey, I worked on front end, back end, and mobile testing. My Twitter handle is mentioned on the slide. If you would like to tweet about my talk, please please help me to do it so that the word of SEO testing is being spread. During this time, I'm uh, just setting up a background. What, what why I'm giving or delivering the SEO testing? So. it happened that our website came into the fourth rank in google search engine since our website came to the fourth rank our sales been increased by 15% since our sales been increased by 15% there was more user engagement and there was more opportunity for us to improve on various aspect this helped us to give the build the credibility and trust among our customer well we were achieving all this now you i would know you would be curious to understand my journey what we did how we did it so let me take you through my journey so this is a background this is a context where i was working in a company and when i joined a company i get to know that i have to do a seo testing so i started collaborating with the team members while i collaborated with the team member i started learning from them that they were being penalized in the past since they were being penalized they were extremely cautious of what they are doing as they were extremely cautious of what they were doing i also learned that uh, there is a new uh, new algorithm by major of the search engine is going to be released since there is a new algorithm which is going to be released but the challenge is none of the search engines will mention what they are changing to the 100% or else they lose the business while we were having all the strange challenges i was like i was joined new to the team i wanted to learn more i wanted to bring an impact and that's why i was determined to do a seo testing so how i started i started doing a research i started pairing up my team members i started asking questions from developer saying that what they are doing how they are doing what they are learning and what are the changes and how does it impact to seo once i learned those i started attending meetups and conferences in meetups and conferences i learned more about what the other people are doing in meetups and in conferences i learned that people from other team in my company are also doing a seo testing so i started collaborating with them we exchanged the test plan bug reports test cases which helped us to exchange our ideas and that helped me to become more confident while i was doing that i would explain what all i learned i started with learning with types of search engine there are three types of search engine the one is crawler based the second is human based the third is hybrid when we hear the term spider bot crawler it means the same thing the word are interchangeable let me be more specific about what does crawler mean the crawler is something which is a program written by a developer and its job is to go and snake inside the website until it comes out of the website apple bot google bot are the good example for crawler based search engine human based search engine it's a human powered search engine any intervention done by human is impacts the search engine the search results for example no no from amazon.com hybrid search engine hybrid search engine as a combination of human based as well as crawler based in my journey i was doing 
more research on hybrid based search engine that's why i will explain you more on hybrid based search engine now let me take you through what are the different sources where we can track the traffic is coming from the first is organic traffic organic traffic is a traffic which is coming from any on source an organic traffic an organic traffic is traffic which is coming from any business development partnership referral traffic referral traffic is a traffic which is coming from other any any third party website but not from the search engine results paid traffic paid traffic is a traffic which is coming from any advertisement such as google ads or any paid platform from the advertisement perspective social traffic social traffic is a traffic which is coming from any social media such as instagram facebook linkedin twitter others if traffic doesn't fall on any of the listed uh, parameters then it will go to and fall into the buckets of others now let me explain you how does crawler work so crawler has three components the first is crawling then indexing then ranking i've already explained you uh, what does crawler mean the crawler mean it, it is a it is a program which is written by developer and it snakes into the website indexing indexing is a process wherein it goes and index the page content a page in page index after understanding the page content ranking ranking helps us to give the re relevant results what user is searching for and staying up to date helps in improving the ranking how does the crawler work the crawler works uh, from the perspective of if you want to rank your website, then your website need to be indexed. If your website need to be indexed, it needs to be crawled. So let's say if we take a paragraph from your website and search in Google Google search, if we get the re in the relevant results, we get your website. Then it means your website is being indexed and crawled. I'll explain you more in depth uh, in my demo further. So I've explained to you now how I did the, like what all I learned from the theoretical part, but let me explain you how I did the test and the actual uh, actual day-to-day uh, -day scenarios. So let me get started with how to check whether our website is indexed or not. So, here I have searched a, a website using site colon Agile India. And if you would see the results, we are getting a relevant results from all the social media, the website itself, and convention platform. This showcases us the Agile India as having or as being indexed. So now let me explain you robot txt. So robot txt is a uh, is a directive in a website which helps the crawler to understand which particular websites need to be crawled and which particular website doesn't need to be crawled. Let me show you an example. So this is a robot txt by google.com. Here we can see what is a user agent, whether the website has been disallowed, allowed. And we could also see the various other user agents, which is being allowed or disallowed. Certain things to remember about Robot TXT is Robot TXT is not appreciated by all the search engine. And we should not have any sensitive information up or in the website. If it is there, then it should be blocked in Robot TXT. So the next is sitemap. Sitemap is used for, as a first place where crawler goes and find, because it's, it's, 
It's a place where it can see all the web pages which need to be crawled and indexed. And this has been maintained by web owners. So there are two kinds of sitemap. The one which we are seeing is the HTML format, and it's by goodguys.fromau.com. I'll show you the another sitemap, which is in the XML format. So th this is a sitemap, which is in the XML format by google.com. Why we need sitemap? In my practice, I've seen sitemap as being used when the website is very large, for example, e-commerce website, and each page needs to be unique. Each page should have some rich content, and that's why we need a sitemap and it's been majorly used in e-com websites. The next aspect of SEO testing is we think of, is our website as mobile friendly or not? So what was happening back before 2019, all the website owner were actually having different domains, subdomains, and it was very hard for any search engine to track who, which is the web owner and what they are doing. So that's why in 2019, they came up with mobile first. Since they came up with mobile first, they had certain rules like the navigation, the breadcrumbs, the URL should be seen across website as well as search engine. Since the navigation URL website should be seen uh, across the uh, like desktop or the mobile platform, it made the search engines to find the web page or who is the owner or the domain much easier. And they also expected to have the high quality videos or image or content in the, and it should be unique. It should be similar in both mobile and web. So how we can test our website as mobile friendly or not. So this is a page which is maintained by Google. Here we could enter the URL and we can check, or we can embed the code after inspecting the element and copy this and paste it over here and check whether our website is mobile friendly or not. Certain things which I've learned about website as being mobile friendly or not as ease of navigations, form factors like having tablets or uh, uh, multimedia phones and smartphones should be of same resolution. Search engine results page. So this is a search engine result page of Azal India. And we could also search to and here we could see the search engine for uh, wherein we have different widgets like videos, we have uh, organic search results, related search results. There you could find knowledge sharing and that's where it's known as search engine results page. Tags. So for the tags, we what we do is like we go to any website mobile phones. Sure. We have two more minutes. So. Okay. So here in mobile phone, we would see the title tag. So this is an important tag. Then the keywords. Then the uh, here we would find keywords and Meta name, meta keywords, canonical URL. Canonical URL has been maintained by the 
search engine and whatever you are seeing the search results over here you would see the same url which is being used by google so i have i've talked about few of this which i've mentioned over the web over here for the summary, whatever I knew from the SEO perspective, I've explained it and I've shared it across. And I hope you could do the same. If you're not able to do the same, please hire me. I'll help you to do that. This is a last, like the quote which I learned about SEO testing. It's about not only doing the SEO testing, it also comes from the maintenance perspective, which I wanted to leave you with. My sense of gratitude goes to Anand Bagma, who helped me to get into this talk with Ajal India. And my sense of talk or uh, help or uh, gratitude also goes to Kritika, who helped me to shape up this talk while, while giving a constant feedback. Thank you. Thanks, Trisha. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.